over to Moscow. There's going to be four on the card. Ashwakim Chakiev listening to uh, his anthem, Gianni Illy. The commentary team will be, of course, the former WBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Barry Jones, and the smooth voice of boxing, John Walling. Over to the boys for not the first time for what will be a sensational night's boxing. Thank you very much, Steve, and good evening to all of you. It is going to be special tonight. It's the big one we've been waiting for, Klitschko against Povetkin. Klitschko, the big favourite, but Povetkin has never been beaten. And as we've seen, he can get into the trenches and he can be a formidable opponent. Klitschko himself saying that it's going to be the hardest night of his career, potentially. Well, we will see. There's Julian Ili, Romanian-born Italian, 36 years old. Coming in, coming in on the back of a couple of victories. It's journeyman against Rakim Chakiev, who's got one defeat in 17 fights, the Russian. <coughs> won the heavyweight gold medal in Beijing at the Olympics in 2008. And he actually beat an Italian to take that gold medal. Beat an Italian spoiler by the name of Clemente Russo. So then, Chakiev against Ily, it's our first action of the night. And Chakiev, you would think, is going to be maybe a class better than Ily. But we will see. Chakiev, 30 years old, six years his junior. But we're looking forward to a, a special evening, Barry. Yeah, well, it's a massive occasion, isn't it, over there? No, they really broke the bank, haven't they? The Russian promoters to get uh, Klitschko over there against Povetkin. They obviously feel he has a chance. Break! Stop! Break, stay back. Klitschko now 37 years old, I guess what you can say is that the story cannot go on forever. He's been one of the most dominant heavyweights in the history of the sport in his 24th world title fight tonight, Vladimir Klitschko. As you can see, Chakiev with a little bit of a heightened reach advantage. He's a southpaw. And this is his first fight since losing a WBC world title shot against Christoph Vladicic back in June. Actually had the champion down in the third round, gave a good account of himself, looked as though he was going to win the title, but then got caught badly in the sixth round and eventually unravelling in the eighth. Oh, just had to take a good right hand there off Ily Chakiev. Elise, who's been a professional since 2004. And he's in his 29th professional contest. He's got six defeats on his record. Chakiev, a sharp puncher and targeting the Italians. Fairly ample midriff in these early stages. Yeah, you think it'd be a good tactic, wouldn't you? But he's, he's boxing well so far, isn't he? He's just not giving Ily any spaces, even his feet. Stalking him around the ring. Quite well, and then just jumping in with the attacks. This obviously there is just a confidence fight again, isn't it, for Chakiev just to get him back on the winning on the winning ways, but he still has to be careful of what comes back from Ily. He just jumped in with the right hand on again and uh, can surprise you as he did just then with a nice little right uppercut. Wanted to get Chakiev back in the world title mix, maybe. We've got a European cruiserweight title coming up for you later on. Matthias Masternak against Grigory Drozd. Winner of that one could well be heading for a fight for the WBC title against the winner of Vladicic, who's going to be defending his title against the veteran Italian Giacobbe Fragomeni. That's coming up on December the 6th. One to watch out for. So that's a decent opening round for Chakiev. Clearly that's the edge in punching power and he's been outworking the Italian as well. Caught once but the bulk of the effective work coming for the Russian. Yeah, it was a clear round one for Chucky. I mean, he boxing well beyond the jab and coming in with that uh, softball left hook to the body quite well. And already Ily looking a little bit tired, isn't he, in the corner. Lovely body shots here. Oh, coming back as well with the right hook to the body. 
And obviously Illy being the smaller fight, just ducking low there, just to luckily getting out the way of the headshots, but it's going to be, you'd feel, a hard night's work for Illy tonight. Strong, isn't he, Powerful physique. Not the most fleet-footed of fighters, but when he lets the punches go, they certainly go. Huge arena here in Russia. Some time away, of course, from the main event. Second round, sorry, Barry, second round. And I like that from Chuck. Yeah, he just, every now and again, he just sort of a little faint, doesn't he? Just to make Illy just, you know, just covers up a little bit and then he jumps in with the attack. You can see the amateur pedigree coming through, can you, with the little bit, little good foot movement with, that he does. Originally from Tobolsk in Russia, Chakiev. Now, like many of the leading German fighters based in Hamburg. And even though he's not, he wants to throw in there, he's just, just stealing the space in the Avili, just making it, he just take a little step back until he has nowhere to go, he's on the ropes. And Chakia with that nice wide stance that he has can really get some purchase on that backhand of his. Avili just clipped by that right hand. Yeah, nice fast hands there, wasn't it, from Chakia? Puts his punches together pretty well. Just like to see him soften Illy up with the jab. Just keep, just keep flicking that jab in his face. Then Illy gets a bit confident and feels like he has to, has to attack, then he can catch him on the counter. And the right hand going through, good exchange, both men, both men landing heavy shots, the better work though seems to be coming from Jack here. Yeah, but to Illy's credit, he took that right hook, didn't he? Flush and took it very well. Some of the biggest names in world boxing going to be here tonight and Britain's three heavyweights keeping a very close watch on proceedings. Derek Chisora, we're told, is going to be uh, in the dressing room looking at the, the binding of the hands, the <laughs> taping of the hands of uh, Vladimir Klitschko. Sounds a bit of a wind-up move to me. Well, he'll make his presence felt, that's for sure. Really will, and it's all about trying to sell yourself. In with a water bottle, <laughs> it's about selling yourself, isn't it? You know what I mean? That everyone knows that all the money leads to the pitch goes to the heavyweight division. That's a decent left hand again. Illy riding the punch, seeing it coming. Another lively round. Yeah, good round there from Chakiev again, I think. Illy having a little bit of success. No, he fights back, doesn't he? He's not there just to make up the numbers, but all the skill and all the power lies with Chakiev for sure. Good knockout percentage, 12 of his 16 wins coming by stoppage. That was a decent right hand. Ely taking it well, landed pretty flush. Yeah, and it was in the more than taking it well, he fired back, didn't he? You know, he uh, obviously can take a shot. I don't think Chakiev's a, a massive puncher. He just puts so much into every shot. I think it's the volume of the shots. I think if you catch you with two or three hard shots on the shot, you're, you're looking for nowhere to go but the floor. But Ely looks like he can take a shot, so he's going to give uh, Chakiev a, little, a few rounds for sure. Talking about the names who are going to be here this evening in this. Big, big event in Russia. David Hay, Tyson Fury, supposed to be at ringside. Lennox Lewis is already here. Vladimir Putin's birthday on Monday, and I noticed that the uh, ever-active Don King press office, Don King, 
offering birthday greetings to Mr. Putin. I'm sure he'll cherish that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if he knows who Don King is, even. Well, I'm sure he does. It's hard to see what Illy can do, isn't it? Really, to change their pattern in the fight. You feel he has to go forward, but he's only going to walk on the shots. I think he's a short fight. I think he needs to stay low. Would would be probably a, a good ta a good tactic for him. Maybe try and roll forward. But at the moment, though, he's just on the end, on the end of all the shots, isn't he, from Shakir? It's a good body shot from the Shakir. Good left hook went in there. Again, Illy takes it well. Yeah, and for a traditional European fighter, he works the body well, doesn't he, Shakir? Very good amateur pedigree, Chakir. Billy letting him come, looking to fire in that big right hand counter shot. It's better from Chuck here when he just has a little bit of a spring in his step, when he doesn't faint, when, he, when he's moving those shoulders. He mounts the attack. You know, he, he doesn't just see it coming, so it's, it's better movement for him when he, when he does that. Ten round of this one to be followed by another heavyweight fight. Ruslan Chagev back in action, former WBA world champion. The man who beat Nikolai Valoev. <laughs> Nice fast hands again if on Chakir's looking to force the fight, isn't he? But Illy again having his little a few little successes, not enough to win the round of course, but just keeping Chakir honest. Decent straight right hand which he landed in the last few seconds of the round. Lovely back left hand there, one from the south ball stands from Chakir. Very accurate, you know, you can see all the pedigree coming through. And he has fast hands, isn't he, for a, for a big very fella? Very much so, very much so. But Illy's still fighting back, you know, he's not just looking to cover up, is he, and survive? He's looking to uh, try and make a go, but that's a right, right, great right hand, right through the guard. Left hand, I should say, right through the guard. And, you know, he's, got a bit, he's boxing pretty well, isn't he? Having anything his own way so far and, and looking good in the process. Well, I've come him all three rounds clearly so far. Rakim Chakiev, the Russian. <laughs> Moving now into round four. have a small target, it's just not giving Chucky of any any sort of opening. Don't have load up the on his hooks. Well, if Julian Illy could pull this one off somehow and find a big punch which he clearly needs, then it would be the biggest biggest win of his career. That would be a massive shock, wouldn't it? And even though he fights back when he when he is in, under pressure, he's not going to win the fight the way he's fighting. Now, is he? He's not. He's going to have to come forward and have to take a, some sort of educated risk at some point. He's trying to time Chakiev coming in, trying to counter him, but it's not really working for him at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, another decent right hand from Jack here for Ganili showing good punch resistance. Just smothers his work there, didn't he, for that uppercut. Good body work by Chucky. Yeah, just a little bit too close to get that uppercut into play. If he was said half a step out, that would have been a beautiful shot. But for me, even though Chakiev's having everything his own way, just like team up the pace a little bit. I was going to say, it's a quiet around this one. Yeah, just, so just taking his foot off the gas a little bit, Chakiev. It's not, me, not even the punch, it's just the footwork again. Just to get a little bit of spring in his step, keep Illy guessing, keep Illy boxing at his pace so he gets tired and quicker. Beautiful clash of hands. But a left hand before it wasn't from Illy, uh, from Chakiev, sorry, and Illy taking it really well. Quite around then, Chakir still doing enough to win it though. Yeah, clear run for Chakir, wasn't he? He had all your success. Did he just go through with a nice little right hand there, or just before the bell on the roof? Listen, 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 listen. But Chakiev, I think, just loading up a little bit too much. You know, he missed a 10 round, then he got to pace himself. You know, he's going to keep it at a high pace, but keep the punches nice and loose and relaxed. Just tensing up a little bit. want to get too close. He wants to try and impress, I think. He wants to try and get the stoppage. It might not happen, so you've got to relax. Keep a little bit in the tank, but still keep it at a high pace. <laughs> Trying to instill a bit of belief in Julian Illy. Massive auditorium slowly starting to fill up. Piatti <laughs> Rao. Rakim Chakev, the southpaw on the far side as you look, right hand side now. <laughs> Russian with just one defeat on his professional record. Boxing nicely thus far. Yeah, he got some great skills, hasn't he? He doesn't, he doesn't do many things wrong, does he? You know, his footwork's pretty good. Makes the space for the shot. Just loads up a little bit too much on the backhand, I think. Just a little bit too tense. And in the process, just feel he's getting a little bit frustrated. Maybe every round in there, those doing him good after being on the end of that stoppage defeat last time out. Yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a hard, especially when you're undefeated. You know, it, it was a stoppage against a good guy, you know, world, world class, but a world title was still, you know, a, Coming back from a stoppage is always a, a worrying sign for a fighter's for a fighter's confidence. So this is doing uh, the world a good. Really not showing too many attacking moves. <laughs> It's being caught by that right hand. And again, a good shot there from Illy. He's got some skills, is it? The, the problem he has is that really he's a super middleweight, isn't he? That really, to be honest, like, you know, he's, a, you know, he's too heavy around the waist and you can, he's too small to get those, uh, you make the advantage of the, the natural ability that he has. That's why he's looking at the time track of coming in. He's, you know, he's got good. Good timing as he Lily, but he's just because he's a smaller fella. He's just overwhelmed by the strength and power of Chakiev. Oh, 
That's a right hand which again caught him pretty flush and Illy just wants to hold on and buy just a little bit of time. Still, still good with the feints here from Jack here, but just needs to let his hands go a little bit more. The movement was good, one that he set the shot up and just didn't, you know, didn't, just didn't let it go. Just respectful of that right hand of Illy, not prepared to just walk through. Another round, though, for the Russian. Yeah, clear. Rakim, bring the opposite zone. Nice little shot. I don't think it was too much on that, but a nice direct right down the pipe, wasn't it? It's an exchange from both fighters there. Illy starting off that exchange for the change. You mark, but you look, look, look. No, man. You miss all the signal. He has good condition there. When you make them no condition. So moving into the second half of the fight. And so far, we've got it a shutout for Rakim Chakiev. Chakiev. Шестой раунд. Because Chekhov's looking for the big shot all the time, he just loads up, just waits a little bit too long sometimes. Should throw fast shots and then just let, let the last one or two be heavy. Put some spite in the last couple of shots. Just open up the defence with some light, light fast, fast flurries first of all, then, then let the big shots go. Just caught by that right hand again, Chakiev. <laughs> right hook got through again, Ely just rocking back on the ropes and takes it. With no great difficulty. Yeah, he uses the ropes very well, doesn't he, Ily? Sometimes for mountain attack, he just uses him as a little springboard sometimes. He knows how to survive, doesn't he? And, you know, and he fights back as well, makes it competitive in stages, but in this sort of distance, he's just not doing enough, is he, or anything at all. And again, Chakiev just a little bit too over eager, just smothering his work just a little bit. He wants to get that left, that backhand, the left hook in the play, just needs to take a step to his right. Gum shields come out. And Ely's work rate just seems to have lessened a little bit from what it was in the early stages. <laughs> and then throws a nice one two on cue, but yeah, and he only yeah, well throws back the, when That's he... after the 30 second break to have the <laughs> gum shield put back in. He only throws back when he has to, doesn't he? When he's under pressure, really, doesn't he? Uh... Bit of work there from Eli. Fast hands, fast feet. <laughs> and again, fast hands from, from Eli. 
After that little break for the gun shield coming out, he actually responded quite well there, the uh, veteran Italian. Not enough to win the round, though. No, no, definitely not for me. Just not, not doing it, but he's looking to survive, you know, and you feel like he could have a little goal, can you? You can see him on the, when he's on the ropes under pressure, he fights back quite well. Again, Illy using the ropes quite well there, just to lean back and, and then come back and smother the work of Chakiev. But Chakiev doing, doing a, a bit of good work, but then just getting too close and smothering his work. And, just needs to take the half a step out to get purchase on the shots. Sends a real will in Chakiev to look good tonight. He's trying to make a statement and maybe, maybe just trying that little bit too much. I think he's, he's, he's boxing well, isn't he? You know, he, he's got some great skills. You can see that. He's just, I think for me, he's loading up too, he's loading up too much and just trying a little bit too hard to make an impression. Just like to see him relax a little bit more. Seventh round, Rakim Chakiev has got to be a long way clear on the judges' cards. Real good work. Just got that bounce in his step, didn't he? Just before it got a little bit, a little bit of a feint, and then just jumped in there with a nice little three-punch combination. <laughs> trying to sucker Illy in, trying to get the Italian to throw something and be the first man to commit himself. But do what he just did. That's that's right. Just again, little feints, little fast combinations. Nothing too heavy. Just draws Illy in there. Makes him feel that he has to throw something back to be competitive. Then you can echo with the big shot. Just got to unlock the defence a little bit more. Might like just a little more action than we're getting right now. Now, Chakiev tries to step it up. Good right hand there from me. Again, for me, check it, just double up that jab again. Go, go back and throw in that, that softball jab. It's only quiet round again. Left hand of Chakiev blocked with ease by Ely. And Chakiev just thrust on that left hook to the body, hasn't he? From range, which is, he was having some, sex, some success with early on in the fight. Just um, head hunting a little bit too much. A right hand lead from Ely. He had his moments in that round, the Italian. Yeah, he landed with some good shots, but again, for me, I can't see how you can give anyone but uh, Chakiev. Eyes of the Italian just marking up a little bit of swelling over left hand, right eyes. All the urgency, most of it is coming from the Russian. Yeah, of course, Ili only really folks throws back when he's under pressure, doesn't he? Don't really initiate any of the attacks and that's why Shaq is picking up all these rounds. It's funny because Illy went back to the corner in the first round, looked exhausted. <laughs> now we're going at the wrong date and he looks uh, fresh as a daisy.
Восьмой раунд. Итальян clearly has the strength and the defensive capability you would think to see it through to the final bell. Question is whether or not he's prepared to risk it and uh, create the upset. At least give himself a chance of so doing. Well, I think if he, if he was fighting at the proper weight, Illy, I think he'd be a good little fighter, you know. I think he's got some lovely skills. He's shown, hasn't he? You know, he's, he's take a shot, got fast hands. He, he counters very well, doesn't he? Even under pressure. But again, the, the physical size and strength of someone like Chucky Evy just knows it's just not not worth the risk for him to sit, to go forward and make a make an effort. He lands with a good right hand here coming forward. So again, showing he has some skills when he needs to. Created the opening, didn't get his glove back up. Yeah, good. It was good counter one. It could counter right hook there though from Chucky for me. Really good shot. Really well scored. But Illy started the round very well, didn't he? And now he's just just stopped throwing punches. to the body from Chakiev. Him wrong. <laughs> <laughs> kind of summed that round up actually, that last uh, last little, yeah. little, little stanza. You know if if Illy had a little bit more ambition, he could have took that round. I'm pretty sure. For me, he didn't again. I think yeah, he landed a few shots, but the, the fact that Chagney was trying to make the fight and comes forward in a few little spurts now and again. Trying to work away on those swollen eyes. And just two rounds now remaining. There was that um, right hook counter, wasn't it, there in the beginning of the round? Or was that, the, was that the wrestling part? I think that was the wrestling yeah. part. Yeah. 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 Left, uh, them both rolling around on the <laughs> canvas. Well, let's see if we can see a bit more boxing in this ninth. Oh, that's a nice right hand. Tough guy, though, Illy. Showing some cuteness there as well, wasn't he? Just dropping his hands, leaning out the range. But to be honest, even though you'd like to see Chaki throw a lot of shots and come forward, now really make a 
make a go of it when you're trying to get the stoppage. You know, if you were in his corner, you'd just tell him just to play safe now, wouldn't you? He's a street ahead. Yeah, a mile in front, just box it through. And the return to winning ways. Really taking that again really well. Well, for me, for Shaq, you have loads up too much. They're heavy shots, and there's, there's not enough snap in them, is there, really, to, to really scramble the senses. They're just hard, heavy shots, you know, that make, make you feel sorry for yourself when you probably get caught, but not enough, again, like I said, to, to really you know, shake you up too much. Again, because he's tense and loaded up, just lacks a little bit of speed sometimes when he does try and dig in a heavy shot. <laughs> if you're just joining us, this is our first fight of the night at the Olympic Stadium. Rakim Chakiev, Russian on the left-hand side, you picture well ahead against Julian Illy, at least on our cards. And it's all part of the build-up to the big one later on, Klitschko against Povetkin. Good work there from Chakiev, just nice little right hook, left hook combination on to the body on the ropes. He's kept it quiet in this round. Chakiev still looking for the big shots, still trying to put the Italian away. Caught several occasions by that right hand lead though of Illy. It's all stacking up into being a decent night, decent night's work for Chakiev. Yeah, that was good. That was a better round, wasn't it, for Chakiev? Looked quite good in that round. He just got a little bit of bruising on his, on his temple there from when they clashed heads at the beginning of the round when they both went in for the combination. So into the last three minutes. And you wonder if this guy's going to make a play now in the last round, trying to make a little bit of a show for the crowd, Illy. Or is he just going to stay in and survive? So, last round of ten. And it's been a, a fairly comfortable night's work for Rakim Chakia. He's with his back to you now. Just trying to draw Ili out of his shell. Oh, he certainly drew him out of his shell and punished him with a right hand, and I don't think he's going to get up. Ili looks in trouble. He's going to be counted out. And the fight is all over in the last round. He tried to get him to come out of his shell. Illy was trying to land big shots of his own, and he got caught with a right hand, which I don't think he saw. Well, it was brilliant when it's that conquer right hook. He had some success down the path with nothing of any weight. Just caught Illy square, didn't he? A real thumping shot. Just leaning back with it, I think it was, that right hook. And um, yeah, you can see as soon as he went down, he wasn't going to go in anywhere, was he? Just cut, just cut, cut with, his, with his feet square, no real defence, no real... Oh, cracking shot, look at that, beautiful. Well, so well delivered, isn't it, more than anything else? Well, it was a while of coming. Illy was making attempts, fair play, in that last round. He was trying to force the pace, but he was caught by a terrific right hand. Well, Chakiev showing a bit of patience, you know, a little bit frustrated, wasn't he, throwing those uh, 
the previous nine rounds couldn't really get make a dent in, in his defence, but 